So he pushes the minion wave, gets up his passive, W's in, auto attacks to get three stacks. Q, E, probably an auto attack in there, gets enhanced E, goes invulnerable, backs out. Let me add him. Do I have this right? Is this all right? Okay, so much like previous Pantheon, if I try to interact with him, I just take damage. And I don't get to do anything. Ow. Okay, I kind of thought the spear would come out a bit slower. That's like an instant fucking doom spear. Yeah, okay, so trying to interact with Pantheon just gets you killed. It's like old Pantheon. He just hits W on you and then presses Q. And you get out traded and can't hit him. Now it's my turn. That does a lot of damage. Ready for battle. Hmm. Maybe I should be playing Pantheon. He is a reworked champion, and that does mean he'll be overpowered. Always follow the rule of Riot. If something's reworked, it's instantly overpowered, no exception. I wonder how many Twitch chatters are going to tell me that he falls off late game. We're up to like 17 now. And we're up to like 10 people telling me his Q does more under 25% HP. Do you guys actually think you're being useful or... Who's next? Aatrox, before it was hotfixed, was straight fucking garbage. When his health and armor were lower, and when his key, his passive did less damage, the way to kill him, you literally just walked up to him and he was dead. Every laner just walked up to him and he couldn't do anything. He was so squishy, he just, he just died instantly to everything. Renekton would just E in W and he'd be dead. It was It was really bad. So it's kind of amusing that people think like, yeah, oh, he didn't need that. Yeah, he, he literally people just walked up to him and killed him from full HP. Like that that was it. There was nothing he could do. Hmm. 
they will greet you. Yeah, I should probably learn to play Pantheon. It's a riot rework, he will be overpowered. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure how my E missed. I kind of figured, like I was re-looking at his numbers and I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Those are really fucking high. He's got very high base. Like his level one armor is incredible. His level one health is high. His level one base AD is high. His AD on his abilities is high. The only problem seems to be his AD ratios. These are on the wrong buttons. There we go. I don't know if I want a first time Pantheon. Not on this account at any rate. Okay, fine. Bring it on. Yeah, I think that's really what it comes down to. I think a lot of... Well, obviously, he's a rework. People don't know the combos. But... Being a rework champion... He is going to be overpowered. I mean, that, that's pretty much just the truth. There's not been a single rework by Riot that hasn't been overpowered. Every single rework has been overpowered. Every single one. Every single champion release and every single rework has been overpowered. Let me add him. It's not even like a question. It's just a matter of when people figure it out. Remember Kyuyana? People were like, no, 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 no. Kyuyana's under stat. She doesn't do... S plus God tier. No changes by Riot. Yeah, that champion's busted. Warwick? You realize Warwick had like a 58% win rate when they finally nerfed him? Bard was like four years ago. Swain? Swain was broken as fuck on his rework. Are you guys joking or like... Yumi was not trash in the beginning. In fact, she's been nerfed harder than they buffed her originally. Orn? Wait, are we being serious right now, or are we just saying shit at random? Are, are we literally just saying words at random? Wasn't Rengar reworked like four years ago? You guys are mentioning shit from like four fucking years ago? Really? Wait, Nunu? Nunu was broken as fuck! Wait, do you guys actually remember what you're talking about? Or like... Let me add him. It feels like you guys are just saying words at random at this point.
How is he overpowered if all four jacks can easily fight him 1v1? Oh, you guys are right. When he's out of mana, he's actually not that strong. Wow. Didn't know. Would never have guessed. Evelyn? You mean the champion they just nerfed? Surprise! I'm back. The, the champion they, they just nerfed? Like, just nerfed? Turret plating will soon fall. I was just trying to defend the turret while it still had the plate on it. Fiora rework? Wait, do you guys not remember the original Fiora rework? I actually have a, a video. I think I put it on YouTube where I actually 1v5'd with Fiora. Like, like a literal 1v5 in the jungle. I mean, yeah, that is pretty broken. I think if I was playing, if it's a riot rework, why am I not attacking? It's OP. Every single rework, every single new champion release is OP. It's funny, I had this exact same conversation when I said Kyuyana was overpowered. This exact fucking same- No it isn't! Kyuyana's not overpowered! No, she's got a low win rate! Yeah, this is how I figured Pantheon would build. People have been trying to play him Bruiser, I feel. And I think that's not the right play. He's got an invulnerability. Just play him Assassin. He doesn't scale. Like, the whole thing about Bruiser builds is if your champion doesn't scale that well with AD, if your champion has some form of mechanic that gives you high sustain damage, then you go Bruiser build. But, like... If your champion has good AD ratios, Surprise. and your champion, Back. um, if your champion has good AD ratios, then why would you build Bruiser? Ready for 
I should have taken those. How many times? I swear to God, if I die because... Because it didn't start teleporting. You serious? Are you, are you just denying? Surprise, I'm back. Your turret has been destroyed. Remember when people were banning Yumi to get their team to not play them? What? Ready for battle. Every rework, literally every single rework and champion release from like the last two years has been broken. Every single one. The only exception... The only exception has been those mini reworks they've done, like Swain. I don't think that was below 25%. You're right. First champion in two years that is an OP. Mord was broken as fuck on his rework. Don't you get... Are you guys just like the dumbest motherfucker? I mean, I know you guys are the dumbest motherfuckers, but like, holy shit. You, you guys, wait, are we seriously denying Swain was overpowered too? Remember when they nerfed him so fucking hard that he just went into shit tier for like a year until they gave him the mini rework? What? The, the Mord one, the Mord one is, is really giving me a headache. He was nerfed like less than a fucking month ago or some shit. Less than a fucking month ago that champion got nerfed and you guys are like, wait, he was overpowered? Yeah, I don't remember. A month ago, it, it's too much. Kale was broken as fuck! They nerfed her like five times! Are you guys insane? Thank you, Bunny Lord One Two Three. The 
Ergot rework was dog shit. Let me at him. Okay. Well, now I know why it's so hard to argue with Twitch chat. Because you guys are just so unbelievably stupid that y you don't even know basic things that happened in history of your game that you play. Ready for battle. If anything, I think this pretty much proves my point completely. Because every champion you guys have mentioned was like just annihilated with nerves they were so broken. Which Rise rework was a bad one? Ow. Talon? Okay, well, first off, I think Talon was more than three years ago, right? I said in the last two years. To be honest, apart from the damage nerf, the Mord rework wasn't that broken. Dude, he had a 50 fucking 5% win rate, you dumb motherfucker. It's on. The, the only nerfed is damage, so that doesn't count his Shinji. Are you people even fucking real? Are you real fucking human beings? Because I'm not so sure. You, you guys are literally just naming reworks that were overpowered at this point. I, I don't know, just, just a troll mirror for the fun of it, but... I think there's two options. Either you guys are too stupid to realize what you're even saying, or you're trying to troll. Now, knowing Twitch chat, you guys are just so stupid that you actually think all these champions weren't overpowered on rework.
An enemy has been slain. Bring it on. You guys realize that's true of basically every champion, right? Basically, the champion gets reworked, then you see buffs because people go, oh, this champion is so useless. Then you see nerfs larger than the buffs. It's on. Because what basically happens is they overbuff the champion to get people to play it, and then they go, oh, fucking shit, it's broken as shit. Didn't Quinn get released like seven fucking years ago, dude? So when I say the last two years, you guys say, but what about this champion from seven years ago? Burn died. Yeah. I think that's kind of cool, yeah. Yes, lethality falls off. That's kind of its thing. That's why it's such a shitty design. That's why a lot of people complain about it. It falls off. Really hard. And it's kind of shit for everything. Uh...
Thank you.